The English Bulldog is an impressive breed, their popular dog that thrives off the attention of their human companions. In today's video, we'll be comparing this strong and devoted breed with the Cocker Spaniel, an absolutely beloved family companion that's sweet and kind in nature. Welcome back to the Fenrir English Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the English Bulldog, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect bulldog. So if you're a lifelong English Bulldog lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future English English Bulldog video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The English Bulldog descended from ancient Mastiff type dogs that were developed entirely in England. The very first mention of this breed was in the 1500s when the dogs were used in bull baiting, which was where the dogs used to grab onto the bull's nose and roughly shake it, which was thought to tenderise the bull's meat. The early bulldogs were much taller and heavier than the bulldogs we have today. They were bred specifically for bull baiting sports with wide mouths, powerful jaws and a high tolerance for pain. After several years of controversy surrounding the sports in 1835, bull baiting was outlawed in England and because at the time bulldogs weren't seen as companions, people were worried about the consequences for the breed. However, many people admired the Bulldog's incredible strength and persistence, so decided to save the breed through breeding them to have a sweet and gentle temperament instead of the tenacious and aggressive character they were first bred to have. Breeders selected the dogs that had more relaxed temperaments for breeding and were able to turn the once aggressive breed into a gentle and affectionate breed. Spaniel type dogs are believed to have had first originated in Spain several centuries ago and taken by Romans on trading ships to other areas of the world. Spaniels were actually mentioned in Welsh law in 300 AD. Spaniels were used to flush game and small animals during hunts by springing at them and forcing them into the open where the human hunters then did the rest. In England in the 19th century and early 20th centuries, dogs were classified by their use in hunting rather than their breed. Like the smaller pups in the litter would hunt woodcock and were also called cockers. While the larger pups in the litter would be used to flush game and were all called springers. The Cocker Spaniel has been massively popular, especially throughout the 1930s and 1950s, through to the 1980s and 1990s, and they've kept that popularity for many years now, staying in the top 15 most popular dogs. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir Canine Training. There's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here so there'll be a link in the description box below I can't wait to see you over on that channel an adult male English Bulldog weighs around 50 pounds and adult females weigh around 40 pounds with show dogs occasionally being around 10 pounds heavier than the average both male and female English Bulldogs stand at around 12 to 15 inches at the shoulder Bulldogs have a short, straight and smooth coat which is generally very glossy in texture. They have heavy wrinkles covering their head and two loose folds at the throat known as a dewlap. English Bulldogs can be quite a variety of different colours including red, brindle, all other brindles, solid white, solid red, fawn, fallow and piebald which is large patches of two or more colours. Male Cocker Spaniels stand at 15 inches tall at the shoulder whilst females stand at around 14 inches. Both males and females weigh between 24 and 28 pounds. They have a thick coat which is usually wavy and short on the head and back and long on the ears, chest, belly and legs. The coat is either a solid colour of black or light cream, red or brown or they're party coloured with one being white. As with all dog breeds it's important to be aware of any certain health conditions that the breed you're interested in can be more prone to. English bulldogs are also prone to particular conditions due to breeding, especially that of eye problems including cherry eye, dry eye and entropion, plus a syndrome found in dogs with short heads and narrowed nostrils where their airways can be obstructed. They can also suffer from head shakes, mange, hip dysplasia, tail problems,
problems and other bone and joint conditions. Cocker spaniels, like all dogs, are more prone to certain health conditions, including eye problems, immune system issues, skin problems like allergies, hip dysplasia, and epilepsy. English bulldogs are sociable dogs with a sweet and loving nature. They have a courageous character and can make an incredible watchdog. They can be quite stubborn due to their persistent nature, which can make training difficult, but with patience and consistency, they can be a wonderful family companion. They're friendly dogs that tend to get along well with everyone and are especially great with kids as they love to play and have the company of their family. Cocker Spaniels that have been well-bred and trained consistently from a young age make for a more loving and playful family companion. They're incredibly sweet in nature with lots of affection for the whole family. They love to be a part of family activities, so it's a great idea to play interactive games with them. The Cocker Spaniel is alert, playful and very active so do need to have quite a bit of daily exercise which should involve a combination of walks, runs and playtime. They've also been known to be a sensitive dog both mentally and physically and can struggle if treated harshly so it's super important to socialise them from puppyhood to prevent any fear making them an anxious adult dog. They're eager to please and their sweet disposition is what makes this loving pup so sought after. With plenty of socialisation, both the English Bulldog and the Cocker Spaniel can make wonderful, well-rounded and balanced family companions that love to play and be in your company. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bulldog videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir English Bulldog Show.